Okay, we're going to start uh, to construct this duck, and this is uh, the direction that we're going to go. This is what the final render is going to look similar to. So what I'm going to do is uh, clear my slate here and start again. So I can do my defaults back here, right-clicking on this four square, right-clicking on the zoom extends, and I'm going to go up to solid, sphere, center radius. I'm going to start at the uh, intersection of the blue and green, or the green and red axis, and I'm going to pull a 10 unit sphere out. Each one of these darker gray lines are 5 units, so that would be 10. Now I want to be real careful. I want to do it in the front view, and I don't want to pull um, any way but except horizontally because, see, my cursor, my cursor wants to follow the red line out because that's going to define where our control points are later on. So I'm going to click, and there it is. Now, um, we want to put lots of control points on here, so we're first off we're going to have to rebuild this. So we go up to Edit, Rebuild, and we're going to stick with what uh, the defaults are. is 10, 10, 3, and 3. If it's uh, different than yours, then you may need to change that. Hit OK, and then we're going to turn on the control points um, by clicking this button right here. Now, if we would have pulled a different way, we wouldn't have had these two control points right here. What we want to do is just draw a box around those, and we're going to drag those out. We could turn ortho on if you want, or leaving snap on will um, also do the trick. I'm going to pull it out here, and it's kind of up to you how far you pull out. That's going to pull out the duck's bill. And we're going to right-click on this button to get rid of the control points. All right. Now, we're going to do the same thing down here. We're going to go to solid sphere again center radius, leave snap on, and we're going to pull a 15 unit circle out. And it doesn't really make any difference where you put it right at, at this point. We're going to also rebuild it, edit, rebuild, this, hit enter, and OK. Again, turn the control points on here. And I'm going to grab this time these two up here. And I'm going to pull out a tail you can kind of do this. You can always come back and, and pull it out further if you'd like. And then right click to get rid of that. Now, um, we have our head, we have our tail, and now we need a neck. So we're going to do a couple of different things here. I'm going to reposition this body so that it's not touching the head, but the chest right here is about even with the center of the uh, head. Now, it doesn't have to be exact, no, but that is exact there. Now, after we've repositioned it, what we want to do is we want to create a place um, where this neck can go. So we're going to take the second uh, button here, the control interpolate points, and I'm going to turn snap off so I can draw freely. And I'm going to come in here and just cut off part of his neck. I want to go beyond the head here, and you can see that my line goes further than the head. I'm going to do the same thing. I can repeat the command by hitting right uh, by right clicking too. Um, I'm going to go beyond here, and I want to come down about to this this ISO curve right here. It doesn't have to hit exactly. You can make it kind of a curve. Then I'm going to split. Let me use the split. Look at the command line. It says what objects do I want to split? I'm going to split this object. Hit enter, and then my cutting object is going to be this. Hit enter and that should um, split this into two pieces. I'm going to hit delete here. I'm going to do it again. So I'm right clicking to repeat that command. Object to split is this, the head, enter, and then the cutting object is this, enter. And now I can remove that. So now if we look at the top or the perspective view, you can see it's pretty hollow. We don't need these curves anymore. We can delete those if we want. Now we're going to do a blend and now we're going to blend um, this neck and the head together. So we're going to go up to surface because these are surfaces. Surface, blend surface, and now sometimes I do this in the perspective view. I'm going to choose the first segment and it goes all the way around. If it didn't, I need to click again to make sure that whole segment is, is selected. Enter when done. Now the second set. I'm going to click on that and now these arrows should be pointing in the same direction and should be relatively parallel and we can check that in all different kind of views and if it's not then we need to move that arrow 
to the right position or come up here and, and set flip and it'll flip the arrow if the direction is not correct and we're going to hit enter and then we can change the end bulge I'm gonna just leave it as it is right there and hit OK and that brings the neck together now I'm gonna go to file save as and uh, we almost have the the body of the duck done so now what I'm gonna do is cut in for the bill that's curve interpolate points I'm gonna turn snap off again and I'm gonna come in and draw kind of a bill shape here again I'm going beyond the boundaries of that initial um, sphere so uh, split I want to split the head enter my cutting object is that curve enter and now these are all different objects so I can cut I can go ahead and get rid of that um, curve and then I can go up to the properties go to object material and I'm gonna go to basic and just gonna make uh, his bill orange and I'm gonna go and select by holding shift down I can multiple select um, the rest of his body go to basic and I'll make it um, this kind of uh, yellowish gold now when I go and render this it should give me a nice uh, um, duck here now the reason why this is I'm sorry but uh, it has some water and it's because it's below the red line I'm gonna remove that water real quick because I don't want to do this tutorial again I'm gonna take off the ground plane hit OK hit OK let's render it again and now I have the basic um, duck shape and we'll do in the next tutorial the eye so no, I don't want to save that right at the moment.